This video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, Del Larson here. Welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. In this video, we are going to talk about tech house baselines, tech house stuff through this little clip. Okay, so here is the baseline that I use for this clip. Now this is built up by using two layers or <laughs> two instruments, not layers. The first one is the sub layer. This is how it sounds on itself. Very, very simple thing. Now, if you want to go really well with this tech house, techno-ish kind of bass lines or sub lines, basically, you need to use something analog. So this is why I use the Monarch here. This is a really, really great plugin. I love to use it for stuff like this. Now, it doesn't really matter what you use because all you need to know is to filter it out. So if you use uh, like Square Wave or sub, it doesn't really matter. Just filter it out and make it really subby. But that analog feel will still be there. And that is what you are looking for. And that is very, very simple here. Of course, if you want, you can distort it to have more overtones to the sound. But at the end of the day, you need to filter out the highs and the middles. So this is why I use this EQ8 here. Basically, I filter out everything above 1K. So you just really want to go with a sub. Now, the more interesting part comes when we study this bass percussive kind of bass sound. Now, these are a little more complicated because they need to be FME hard, but at the same time filtered out sound. So I have two layers. This is the main layer, but as you can see, I chopped off the very lows because I'm not going to use them. Now, the sound itself is very simple. You take a sine wave and you modulate it with another sine wave, but this time on half of the frequency and maybe detune it a little and then filter it because without filtering, this is the sound itself because with the envelope, we are making it a little blocky kind of thing. This is a simple sine wave. Okay, now we added a pitch envelope to it. And that gives a really nice percussive kind of sound. Now, if you want to go with techno-ish and tech house-ish bass lines or bass steps or percussive kind of bass sounds, some sort of imperfections in tone, in tonality can be really handy. So this is why I use the pitch envelope to get a little further from that very tonal and very synthetic kind of sound and push the sound into more like a little more chaotic kind of thing. And the pitch envelope helps in that a lot. Okay, so this is the first layer and the second layer. This is the second layer. It's a lot more subtle. And what I did here is I use a weird waveform that I used, you know, just penciling it here, this stuff and frequency modulated it with a square wave, but this time using four times the frequency of the original use of waveform. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but never mind. Now I use a filtering, but this time I use the envelope to make it a little blockier. So as you can hear, I let the filter open a little at the very beginning of the sound, giving a little transient. And like always, I use the pitch envelope too. That again gives some nice imperfections and again adds some little percussive kind of transient to it. Now I use again an EQ to chop off the very lows and the very highs. And actually the middle is a little at around 700 Hertz. And because I have a subline that I just described you, I chopped off the very lows on the group. So I just want to make sure that everything on the low end is chopped off. Now, of course, there are hundreds of ways to create bass lines for tech house and techno, but this is one thing. And in the next few weeks, I'm going to reveal more and more about this. So stay tuned and see you guys next time. Peace.